Uh, here we are at Ocean Protected Logan Home. I'm here with Sean and Daniel. Uh, they've just come back from cleaning out and replacing a whole bunch of storm filters uh, in a uh, supermarket car park just north of Brisbane. Just to give you an example, this is, what, this is what a new storm filter looks like. You know, really, it's a really absorbent material like um, kitty litter, like really, it's all really good for um, capturing a whole bunch of pollution. These are some of the storm filters that they've pulled out. Now, these have just been in the ground for uh, about a year. And you can see and smell how much pollution has been accumulated. And this is just one. You can see how much sediment, debris, rubbish, and other sort of attached pollutants is attached to it. And this is just one of 17 of these storm filters. They're all caked with pollution. And if these devices weren't in the ground and getting replaced and maintained, that pollution would run straight into our waterways. Now, how often we replace these storm filters is very much dependent on the stormwater pollution load coming into them and how much they need to work, essentially. And so it's really important to actually make sure we inspect these devices at regular intervals to make sure that they are still working properly. These guys go out to the site about every four months to make sure they're all hunky-dory. Uh, but obviously these ones need to be replaced. But again, these have only been in the ground for a year. Sometimes we can have some in the ground for three years and still working as good as new. But obviously these ones need to be replaced. It just shows you the importance of actually regularly inspecting your assets, making sure they're working uh, well. And if they need to be replaced or rectified, you have the personnel and the resources to do that. Because um, if not, these stormwater treatment assets just won't work and our waterways won't be appropriately protected. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs>